Hi everyone, my name is Jess and welcome to my channel. My channel. Okay guys, welcome back. I'm so happy and excited for today's video. This is my first time doing an IKEA video or like an IKEA DIY hack video for you guys. And I was so excited when I was on IKEA, so I grabbed a few things to make these DIYs and I hope that you like them. Please, if you do, give me a big thumbs up. That really helps to support my channel and that way I'm going to know that you really enjoy and like this type of video so I can do more. Because I have a few more IKEA things that I want to share with you, so let me know in the comments a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this and Dollar Tree DIYs, make sure that you are subscribed and that you hit the bell to get notified every single time that I upload a new video. And guys, make sure that you follow me on all my social media pages. I have Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, my other channel, Just On My Home, and my webpage, JustOnMy.com. All the links are going to be in the description box of this video and every single video. And let's get started! For this project, I'm going to be using this doormat that I get from IKEA and it only cost me $4.99 and I was so impressed about the quality and how good it looks but it's super simple to me so it's, so I think it's the perfect match to DIY and the first thing I'm going to be doing is to use um, tape and basically I'm going to cover with the tape the parts that I don't want to get paint and I'm going to be creating um, designs, I'm going to be creating three lines on each side of the mat in different sizes and you can use a ruler to measure and make sure that the lines that you have on one side are going to be um, the same in the other side of the mat and I'm going to be creating the same design only three lines on each side of the mat This is super simple, you can create so many designs with a tape and then add paint. Just be creative. I decided to make this that looks simple and modern at the same time. And this is how the mat looks for the moment with the tapes. But I don't want the center to get paint either. So I'm going to be covering that with um, some paper and then I'm going to add the tape too to make sure that it's not going anywhere. Once I cover my mat, it's time to paint. You can use um, like acrylic paint or chalk paint. I think it's, I think the easiest way is to use spray paint. So I get my spray paint in black ultra matte and I'm going to be painting this outside and then let it dry. Once I paint my mat and everything is dry, the paint is dry, it's time to remove the tape and the paper. Okay, this is how my mat looks once I was done and I love it. Now it's time to add um, details and I decided to use this yarn that I get from Dollar Tree um, to create tassels. I'm going to be using my sanding sponge just to make all of them in the same size and it's so much easier. And to make my tassels, I'm going to be doing about 30 turns on the sanding sponge and then and I'm just going to cut the other side make a knot to have my tassels and I'm going to be doing the same thing four times because I need four tassels in total Once I have all my tassels, this is how they look and I love them. They look super cute and like fluffy. Now it's time to add these to my doormat and I'm going to be sticking these on the bottom part of the mat. And to stick them, I'm going to be using my E6000 glue just to make sure that it's going to um, stick super well. And then I'm going to add on the top um, hot glue just to make this process a little bit faster. And then I just add a piece of paper um, to make sure that it's not not going to get stick on my floor until the E6000 dries. I'm going to be sticking my four tassels on each side of the doormat and then let them dry. Mm -hmm. 
once I was done with my doormat this is how it looks and I love it it looks so expensive and it only cost me $4.99 from Ikea I love the color it has and I love like this strip pattern that I made with the tassels I think it looks super cute and modern at the same time um, and I hope that you like this idea it's super unexpensive and it looks amazing For this next project, I'm going to be using this IKEA plant pot that I get for only $5.99 and oh my god, I love this. I think it looks super cute. You can add a plant inside, but I'm going to be making something a little bit different. I got this beautiful hyacinth napkin holder on IKEA for only $5.99 and oh my god, I love this. I have hyacinth in all over my home and I really like it and I, and I have this idea to make something super cute that I never seen before so I'm going to be gluing these two pieces together to basically make like a tray um, and I know that it doesn't have like the same pattern but in person guys I promise you that it looks basically the same thing and I think it looks super cute You can add like the normal napkins to put on top but, but I want these for decorate my dining table so I'm going to add something a little bit different. I'm going to be using this jar in black mat that I already painted a few um, like months ago and I'm going to add inside these plant that you can get from Ikea too. I'm just going to remove that from the pot and add the plant inside of the jar. Then I'm going to be adding this candle holder that looks super farmhouse that I have and then I'm also going to add a candle. Once I was done guys this is how my project turned out and oh my god I'm so happy how it looks. I think it looks super different. I never seen this before and it's so inexpensive, super easy to do. Two things that you probably um, can always find at Ikea and it is an easy project that you can do that looks amazing. For this next project, I'm going to be using these dish towels that I get from Ikea. They come in a set of four for only $2.99. And all of them have different patterns, lines, squares. I was so excited when I found these. And I was thinking that maybe I can do something um, with one of these dish towels. So I'm going to be using this one. And the first thing I did was to remove like the tag that has on the back. And this has been fold for so long. So I'm going to be using my easy press from Cricut to add heat on these to make sure that my fabric is straight and iron. Next, you can add something or any design to the fabric once it is straight. And I decided to use my Cricut and made a decal um, that says it's so good to be home. And I made it using iron-on material, cut it with my Cricut, and then I'm going to um, remove the extra iron that, that I don't need. And then I'm going to centralize these on my piece of fabric. And then I'm going to stick it with the easy press. Guys, if you don't have a Cricut, it's okay. You can use so many other things. You can paint it yourself. I have done that so many times with like pillow covers and things like that. And they turn out amazing with a high-end looks. So you can try different methods. What I really want to do is inspire you to do it yourself and be creative. Once I put the heat on the top part of my iron-on material, I did the same with, with the bottom part and then I removed like the plastic cover piece that protects um, my iron-on material and this is how it turned out. Now you can put this on your kitchen maybe, but I decided to do a sign with this towel. So first I'm going to be using this piece that I have basically on the trash that I found. This is a wood stick and it's super dirty. 
so I'm going to clean it using my sanding machine and I'm going to sand everything to have a smooth surface. Once I sand my piece of wood, I'm going to be painting these using my favorite stain is a special walnut color and I'm going to stain my piece of wood and then let it dry very well. Once it is dry, this is how it's going to look and I'm going to be putting these on the top of my dish towel and this is going to help the dish towel to stay um, straight on the wall and it's going to add a really cute touch and more texture. To stick the dish towel on the piece of wood, you maybe can add hot glue or you can use your stapler and add staples on the back side. Then I'm going to be adding this tooth hanger on the center of the wood piece to be able to hang these on the wall. Now, as you can see, this wood piece looks amazing, but I want to add um, like more dimension to it. So I'm going to be using my sanding sponge and I'm going to sand only the edges of the wood piece to make it look better. Um, I don't know, I really like this technique and it's going to add more dimension to it. Once I was done, guys, this is how my project turned out in all I really like it. I hope that you like it too. I think it looks super cute. I love the pattern that the dish towel has and I can do these with the other patterns too and make like a big wall art piece. I don't know. I have so many ideas on mine. Let me know in the comments if you have any other idea of what I can do with these other dish towels um, and I just hope that you like and enjoy this video as much as I do creating all of DIYs for you and if you like it, please say big thumbs up and also let me know in the comments which of these was your favorite DIY why i think mine was the tray and make sure that you are subscribed that you hit the bell and that you share this video if you want to see more ikea videos and make sure to follow me on all my social media pages my web page page and my other channel just on my home all the links are in the description box Mwah. love you guys and see you on my next video bye